welcome y'all to the next installment of the So Unprofessional Show. This is the only host, Mr. Barksdale. So what am I? Who the fuck are you? I'm the other host, the one that doesn't check his phone during the show. Oh, well, that's because you ain't popular. Hello? The fuck? What's up, Honest? All right, honest. I know we said this is the so unprofessional <laughs> show, but this is unprofessional. <laughs> Yo, why you ain't tell us you needed a ride? I done got you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I see. All right. See, when I call, they answer. You know what I mean? Gus and women gonna be all in their DMs. Can we all start over? Yeah, we can. Was it? Huh? It was good. I mean, it was good for me. It's never good for you. Why is it good for me? I don't know. You're fucking Gus, man. You trying try to treat me like I'm a mush. <laughs> nah, you not the mush. I wouldn't fuck with you if you was the mush. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't fuck with you if you was the mush. All right. I appreciate it. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Stay tuned, man. It's that's it, man. That's so unprofessional. It. That's it. We answer calls in the middle of the intro. Yeah, but if y'all follow all of our platforms, this is what I do. Right we're or wrong. Work, we're trying to work that out, you know what I mean? Get a little bit more. What are we working out? Your unprofessionalism. Then the show will be called So Professional, and then I'd have to retire. Maybe you should go that way. Okay, you can run this shit by yourself. As soon as you start being professional, I'm out. Unacceptable. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. I, listen, I'm not with that shit. So, we ready? We ready. Let's go. So what's this shit? The intense behind. You know, and so I felt it. I felt the heat from it. I felt it in her eyes. I knew what? exactly what it was. What? Jessica Richardson says she and her husband were looking to spend the holiday weekend picnicking with their dog. That's what Possibly they get for even renting a cabin. She says they Googled a nearby Campgrounds of America location and decided to drive there. And that's when things took a turn for the worse. She jumped out and the gun was pointing at, at me and her dog. It was just pointing at us. And one finger was on the trigger, the other finger was on the opposite. Oh, on the lever. Black people don't have the picnic. Yeah, it's making it everything. Right? That's when she pulled out her cell phone. The woman holding the gun identified herself as the property manager, but her choice of words were less than professional. She was just like, get, get, you don't belong here, you don't belong here, you don't belong here. Richardson says the confrontation the was shocking. Time stopped, everything stopped. Yeah, I was and confused then, to what was going on. Right. I mean, we didn't like we opposed to threat anybody. We're out there walking our dog. Right. Nothing horrible about that. The fact that she used get, get like we were a dog. You know, get, you say get, get to a straight pause on your porch. And that get, get got to me more than you don't belong here. On the way out, they spoke to another campground employee outside of the office who turned out to be the <laughs> So they just went out, laid out the blanket. White lady rolled up. Like, oh, y'all niggas don't belong here. Get, get. <laughs> Pull the strap on them. Yeah, yeah, get, you better get the fuck on. <laughs> it's not funny. It is funny. It's not funny. Where, they, where did this happen? Uh, I don't know what time. Don't tell me something like Arkansas. Yeah, it was one of them weird towns and shit. Yeah. What, are you, what the fuck do you expect? You I mean, can't it's 2019. Just be, you're not yeah, you be can't the just be niggers <laughs> laying out in the grass, minding your business with a puppy. <laughs> no. That's threatening. That's threatening to the establishment. It's frowned upon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get, get. <laughs> get. You better go for get. It's not funny. You better get. <laughs> you better get the fuck on with that. <laughs> she got fired, though. Okay. You just can't pull out the strap. Why, why do you always pull out the strap, though? Because if you don't have a gun... <laughs> And you walk up on like walking up on like stray niggas. It's like it's like walking up on like a stray pit bull. And you better have the right temperament 
when you approach this straight pit bull. Cause like sometimes you see this straight pit bull, he got this bottle by the way, he be like, get, get, that motherfucker get the bite in your ass. <laughs> But well, then you might say, get, get, and that motherfucker might hear your voice say, haul ass. You know what I'm saying? And so, if she doesn't have a weapon and she walks up on these two stray niggas, they be like, y'all gotta get, get. <laughs> they gonna get up and get get the whoop in her ass. <laughs> what you, would you do if she walked up to you and was like, get, get? And she had a strap? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm gonna get, get the fuck on her. You got it. So. Hello? You just gonna do it again, huh? All right, wait, wait, you, are you on 11th and Wood Street? All right, if you look down Wood Street, you should see like, uh, like the d***s and d***s on the right. And like a duck, the duck, it's like a whole, it's like a bunch of Chinese stores to the right. It's look like it's cracked open. All right, I'm about to come. No, no one from your regime. That didn't go as planned. Yeah. The kid hit Elsa. Huh? I thought he was going to go into his eye and white people's shit. I didn't think he was going to go that way. I'll be honest. I thought I was going to go a whole different way. I didn't, I didn't get all my laughter out from that statement, though. No more, man. You were talking right. bad on black people, man. Just say, you can't just you can't just leave no straight niggas. <laughs> we got that part already. On the grass. You so I just want to ask this question though. Like, but T, what would you do if you came out your house <laughs> and it was just straight niggas and the dog chilling on your lawn? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And you gonna come outside with a strap too? Yo, y'all niggas better get get the fuck off from here. You know what I'm saying? Yo. I'm not, I'm, listen, I'm not co-signing the white lady, but I'm just saying, if I, when I come out my house and this stray nigga sitting on my porch smoking weed, the first thing I say to him, yo, y'all better get the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Treat them just like the stray cat that's sleeping in the fucking flower pot. Yo, you better get. Uh. Can you tell me what I did wrong? Okay. Shut your car. What I do they wrong? They about to shoot him? Shut your car. Come on. Shoot. Shut your car. He want to shoot me. Got a gun. Where? 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 Shut your car. Where? Where? My hand in there. Shut your car. Shut. <laughs> nah, hey, 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 come shut the car. Yo. Uh, can you tell me what I did wrong? Okay. Shut your car. He told him to shut the car. What I do wrong? He go reach and shut the car. Come on. Shoot. Shut your car. He want to shoot me. Where? 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 All you gotta do is drive up. What's what I was doing? What was I doing? What was I doing? My head in the air. Well, I just My head in the air. Try to comply with the Yo. law. Yo! He told you to turn off the car. Can you tell me what I did wrong? Okay. Shut your car. What I do wrong? Shut your car. Come on. Shoot. Shut your car. He wanna shoot. <laughs> Got a gun! <laughs> Where? 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 Shut the car! Yo, that shit is not funny, but... Shut the car! Yo! He was trying to catch a body that day. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Yo, why are you trying to set him up like that? <sighs> did, he yeah. have, did he have I, a yeah. gun? No, I think that was training. He was just like... As soon as, he was like, as, soon as like, he moved... First, <laughs> I don't even know how they was taping. Like, was he in the passenger seat? So I think he was in the. Uh, I don't know. It looked like he in the driver passenger seat. Yeah. So but I don't know how he asked. I mean, why are you was, asking the passenger to cut the car off? Either way, though, he told him to turn the car off. As soon as he, so he reached moved. over to turn the car, he got a gun. <laughs> Yo, at least he ain't shoot. Y'all say that much. He ain't shoot. The nigga's like, where? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where? <laughs> That shit crazy. But that, that's how this should be happening though. Exactly how it be happening, man. 
That's why, listen, man, one time I got pulled over by the police and uh, I just had my hand on the steering wheel. He was like, uh, matter of fact, this is probably about like a month ago. I was doing like 90 on 95. I was hauling ass. That's illegal. And he pulled up on, woo! And I, pulled my, and I had my hand, he was like, pull over. So I pull over. And they pull up on the car. And I'm like, this. He was like, sir, you can take your hands off the steering wheel. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm good. <laughs> nope. He said, uh, he's like, you ain't got to, you, you don't got to pay attention to the news. We ain't the bad cops. I said, look. <laughs> My hands are on the steering wheel. There's no weapons in the car. I know you got a camera on you. There's nothing in the car. There's no drugs. Why did I get pulled over? They said, uh. You were doing 90? No, nah, I didn't have my lights on. <laughs> you let you go? Yeah, after I turned my lights on. You was in there acting shit, huh? <laughs> no, I just didn't want to get shot. Yeah, I, I, listen, I'm not playing. I don't get black cop, white cop, Chinese cop. My hands on the steering wheel. Yeah. Young Bull in the video. He was definitely smart. Though. Young Bull was, he was like, like, I'm like, not reaching for shit. He said, where? <laughs> where? Where's the gun? I would have told him, you better get, get. And the video went on for a while, though. He was, <laughs> yeah, I ain't watching. He kept that. asking the boy, he was like, turn off the car. He was no, like, nope, no, I'm not moving no, my hands. No, well, he was like, you come over here and turn it off. Yeah, <laughs> hell no, hell no. Let me get, take me out the car. <laughs> Drag you, me out this yeah, motherfucker. You and you pull it, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy though. Young boy saved his own life though. He would have got hit. He'd turn that car if he got hit, bro. He got a gun. Blah blah blah. But that's just instincts for the cop to be like. He got it. And then he'd have beat the case. He feared for his life. You looked in there, all you would have saw was a Wawa sandwich and two bags of weed. Like that nigga moved. He moved though. Yeah, good shit. He would have missed the footage. <laughs> Only thing I said to Young Boy was on like Facebook Live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good shit. Next segment. All right, so we back. Yeah. We got a special guest in the building. Mm-hmm. Yes. Guests. Plural. Plural. <laughs> you ain't gonna come start coming at me already. We just. <laughs> Yo, what we not gonna do is be the grammar police. First of all, you're gonna acknowledge that it's two of us. He did. He said guests. Back to the show. How you doing? I'm mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm my, Melissa. My, my great friend and co-host of Philly Shine Radio. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you guys for having us. Yo, thanks, thanks for coming through, man. Thanks. thanks for coming through. So talk to us about Philly Shine Radio. Where, how, how did it all get started? What's the, you know what I mean? Philly Shine Radio is um, my, my, my baby. Okay. Um, where you know, I've been doing music since I was young and always wanted a place to play my music. And, you know, where... Philadelphia being a place where you can take your own ideas and turn them into, you know, actual goals. You know, I played music for myself and others, and then it just turned into um, wanting to expand. So I've had different co-hosts over the years. I've been doing it for 10 years. Um, and I'm partnered with Black Aware Radio Station, mm -hmm. where we broadcast. And my good friend Melissa, <laughs> we were um, really close friends, and, you know, she's so ambitious, and. Philly Shine Radio is just about being real, you know what I mean? Like, where, wherever you're from, just come shine. And she's one of the real, so. She's oh, been my co-host for like a year and a half now. Mm -hmm. Really dope, you know what I mean? We have great, we have great fun on Philly Shine Radio. We just show off artists, be all opinionated, and we're all just able to express ourselves. Because most people don't understand that you need to be able to vent. You need to be able to show you know, your artist, a cook, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? A, we have boxers, comedians, yeah, all types comedians, of, mm -hmm. like, anybody mm -hmm. that's doing anything in the city. Yeah, yeah. we allow you to come shine with us, you know what I mean? That's what's up, that's yeah. what's you up. Try that, that mother ass nigga Molly Cobain on your show. Of course. This nigga came on here and had no shoes on. Yo, first of all, what we're uh. not going to do is talk <laughs> bad about my man Maul. <laughs> You was mad. That's a rumble me dickhead, real red. Uh, you know what I mean? Don't, don't nah, he came, he came through. He was good, buddy, man. You know, Gus is, <laughs> Gus is the black Republican, so anything You're that's... You're a Republican? Yeah, yeah, he's a Republican, man. Something like that. Something like that? That's impossible. But so he can probably, like... I, I feel like you can have some Republican views. 
Now you don't always have to be like just because you're born in poverty doesn't mean you have to be a Democrat. And, and you can still agree with both to a certain extent. In this day and age, I was a Republican as well. Um, but in this day and age, you got to make sense in the world in America, and Republicans well, make no sense. I'm right, right now, now. Right. but truthfully, neither one of them makes sense. Correct. To a certain the, extent, neither one of them makes sense. And so in this world nowadays. Because you really voted for two demons, you just yeah. gotta, you gotta just vote for the <laughs> de- for the best demon that's running. <laughs> that's you know what true. I'm that's like we, true. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna sit here. South, and South, South, South Park said it said it best. That's you vote for the douche or the turd sandwich. Yeah. But, um, come on now, not a douche. I mean, I, for me, for me, <laughs> this is how I feel about Republicans. Like before, mm. black people was Democrats. We was all Republicans. You understand what I'm saying? And you and. For as much as people give Abraham Lincoln credit for freeing the slaves. Oh, that was, came up for a reason, that, but go ahead. Huh? Go ahead, go, go ahead. Let him finish. Let huh. him finish. That was, that, was, that was the Republican Party that did that. Oh. It was the Republican Party that, to some extent, gave black people the right All to right, vote. I understand that you want to mm-hmm. go into history, but, I mean, but most people, I feel like, they lose sight of what's going on now okay. trying to break down origins of things like you mm-hmm. know what i mean but if you don't know where you came from you don't know where you're going it's not a but Th- most, that makes nine times big out sense of ten, i had to figure out what, nine, who the hell i was i mean mm-hmm. nine times out of ten when it comes to actually making change you have to focus on what's going on now like people are so scared of identity politics where mm-hmm. you just identify i can identify that you're a republican mm-hmm. i can identify that you're a, a democrat we'll have different views mm-hmm. but how can we come together now for the problems that we have and that's what i feel like is missing from politics and even people want to have a conversation they mm-hmm. want to get into debating before they say well we can agree that we all need to eat we can agree that we all need to you know that's to be true. prosperous you yeah. know what i mean i that's feel like people should focus on that true but i think that uh just add to that because I think that's a good viewpoint. Mm-hmm. But I think that the big thing that you gotta remember that politics come from the root word policy. Policy is laws, and when you're talking about laws that affect the world and people and be, these big corporations that put money behind politicians and political parties to affect policy, then we can't worry about hey, yeah, we all gotta eat, we all gotta breathe air, we all shit and piss. But at the end of the day, somebody making a rule saying you can't get an abortion when a rapist raped you and had you get an abortion, then I think it's time to start figuring out where you voting and how you voting. Exactly. That's true. And then even now, and then like even with what happened with Russia, they only mm. had these give us a couple rubles and they fucked a lot of people's mind up on Facebook. You know yeah. what I mean? Buying ads. And then also you have to understand that social media and having a cell phone, like so many people say it's bad, but that's a way that you can connect to people. You know what I mean? In a way like you never could before. Mm -hmm. So, you know, try to connect to people as much as you can and find out what's wrong with them and, Mm -hmm. you know, make change. I hope you guys volunteer or, you know what I mean, really help out with your community as much as you can because we all need it. Yeah, I mean. Whatever you can do. I thought we were supposed to be talking about Philly Shot Radio. I mean, this is, but the the crazy thing is, the crazy thing thing is, we we talk about about everything though. We talk about sex, politics. We do do have more fun than you guys. (laughs) Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. We, have, we have a lot of fun. We have we so have much fun. fun. You, we shit on your fun. Period. No, so we talk about Tuesday. everything. We're on Tuesdays, six to eight p.m. Yeah. That's what I'm. First of all, you on a Thursday. You can't have more fun than us when you're on on a Tuesday. Period. We are. We are. We You can have fun on a Monday any day. On a Sunday. I already. I have fun Sunday. Our radio show is Friday. We can have fun at church. Where y'all gonna invite us? You know, uh, we go from the daycare to the strip club. We go from the daycare to the strip club. Yeah, listen, yeah. city hall. Mm-hmm. Where we go? Listen, it's all good. Listen, listen. Ooh, I, 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 anywhere. I, 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 <laughs> Anywhere. I'm like, I'm like this fashion shows, fashion show. oh yeah, fashion shows. Fashion shows. Yeah. We work with children with disabilities. <laughs> oh yeah, when I was in the How much fun? Wait a minute, Melissa just um had a fashion show this past weekend, That's and I sure. saw that you had like the little child. You could tell like it was yeah, she had some disability. time for disability. Oh, physical physical disability. Other, yeah, right? yeah, but yeah. no, like how much fun was that? Because I wanted to know. It was so much fun. We had a blast. EA all put right, that event right. together. Shout out to EA. <laughs> so hold up, hold up. Shout out to the Shout out to EA. He definitely put that together. It was definitely love. The little girl just so happened to be one of the model's babies. Oh. And she was about to go. And I was like, hold up. 
why are you leaving or whatever like that? And she was like, I don't have no sitter. So then I was like, well, let me take her. So I took the little girl to like, um, London, London's her name. I took London to go buy bubbles mm -hmm. and get her occupied. And the whole time when her mom was mouthing and stuff like that, she was kind of like helping me host. Okay. And the, um, she has a physical disability, not mm -hmm. a mental disability. Okay. She just um, physically, mm -hmm. and she models too, the little girl. Well, so I allow her to walk and stuff like that. Yeah. Everybody see her shine. So let, me ask, so let me ask this question. Like, Bringing so, the kids for the first time <laughs> I'm talking about. So you yeah. have to shout that out. Yeah, thank so, you. That's the more fun. Yeah, it's cool. So you, <laughs> so you, you hosted the show or you do the show? What, for the shot reader? No, the, uh, the, the fashion, fashion show. show. Yeah, hosted, so basically yeah, I hosted it. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. When was it? It was, I'm trying to think. Saturday night. Now, yeah, yeah, Saturday, Saturday night, May 25th. Okay, and what was it like local, lo was it like local clothing designers? It was a, was a lot of local clothing designers. Mm -hmm. um, Deshaun was one of them, he's a celebrity stylist. Sure, yeah. Um, Stormy amazing. was another one, she does more like unique pieces and stuff like that. Sarah Louis. Sarah Louis, she was a really good one. Um, mm -hmm. It was also everything Lola, okay. designed by Lola. I'm trying to think it was like one more. It's Dominique Chic. Um, no, predominantly Chic. I'm going to to get her name right. So it was a couple. No, no, she, her stuff was really nice too, dope. Um, and sure. she also has a boutique. So it was a lot of like this. It was, Philly has a lot of talent yeah. hitting. It was like, what the heck? What is going on? So we also had artists perform at the show. Also, we, I had another co host, Autumn. Mm -hmm. Autumn was a 12 year old girl. She's an um, expiring um, radio personality. Mm -hmm. So basically, she was communicating how she write dance, she models, but then she likes to talk a lot. So yeah. she was just like, so she um, was able to co host with me as well. So it was basically, it was really no, dope. We That's what's up. Mm -hmm. And so um, you said y'all been doing this like 10 years. So, like, what's the. Well, yeah, I've been doing the show for 10 years. Been, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so what's the goal, like what's the end game with uh, Philly well, Shine Radio? Yeah, there's been so many goals reached and the goal is to keep consistency, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, like we have, we do epic shows, like even from when I started like interviewing like Michael Jackson's old manager, had Warren G on the phone, like, like crazy, crazy stuff has happened in the past. So it's like sometimes I think like, where am I going to go next? But mm -hmm. I'm inspired by even, I just had um, this guy, um, Humble G Defender, mm -hmm. and he does hip hope. And he actually plays the fiddle and he has like really amazing international music, I call it. Like, mm -hmm. And it's like meeting him, he's from Cleveland, which was like one of the best shows I've had. And then, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even meeting like... Um, he from Cleveland? Cleveland. And he came to Philly. You know, Cleveland is like banned on this show. What Why? Was this show? Like Ohio is the mush. All right, well, I don't oh. have time for that. What happened in Philly Ohio? Radio. What happened with Cleveland? Oh, what, what, what did we say? What did did we you check that out in your archives or something? Huh? Because you don't even remember. Like, you yeah, have I remember. Like, you information in your head. You don't know? mm. Nah, I remember. I remember clearly what happened. How do I get the story? I cut me off. My bad. I'm, I'm sorry. I just was thinking. What city? What city what, what do you is like? And I bet you I'll text somebody in that city because Philly, Philly Shine Radio worldwide. I've even had um, uh -huh. artists calling from Norway, and what awesome. was even surprising about that? Mm -hmm. He um, had the same thing to say like everybody else. So nobody yeah. supporting me. I'm just trying to make it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And he had good music. I didn't understand what he was saying, but it was good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it sounded good. You know what I mean? Music. Like, you know how people enjoy Spanish music? And they're mm -hmm. like, I don't know what she's saying, but it yeah. sounds good. Yeah, I th someone I knew was, um, and she was like, Melissa, listen to this African music. And I was like, oh, okay. And it was like a different beat. It was English, but yeah. it was like an African tone yeah. to it, mm -hmm. which I never heard. It was like rap, because if y'all don't know, America is like the thing to be internationally. Like, we're like, of course, yeah. yeah. And she was like, listen to this music. And I was like, this is like really different. I never heard African music. Yeah. So it was definitely dope. Speaking, but speaking of African music, I just went to a wedding on Sunday, and uh, this African woman was getting married to like this Jamaican man. Mm. And so uh, I forgot what part That's of the uh, part. Huh? Uh -huh. No, I'm gonna be honest. The party, the party section was the party part was ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was like no like, dancing. Listen, listen to me. It was complete. What? It was complete ass. Like I looked over to Mrs. Barkster. I said, "Mrs. Barkster, it's time to go." She's like, "But no, oh, that's my friend from here? college. I love her. We can't just leave." I was like, "Look, I'm starting the car. <laughs> you do what you're gonna do. You know what I'm saying?" But the best part of the wedding was uh, they had like I guess some like traditions from over Africa. Like a lot of her oh, family flew over. That's and, so um, beautiful. And uh, I guess like when those marriages happen and 
they used to like having like a certain ceremony that the women so dance. I would just say dandelion and you'll have a story about that wouldn't you no but um they started <laughs> I don't know um, what is that they start they started dancing <laughs> they started they like did a ceremony for the like men you, oh. you know what I'm saying so and um uh, long story short you know what I'm saying they they did the ceremony it was dope and I, and I was just sitting in the chair like yo this is probably the closest I probably will ever be True. to like our natural well, I guess like <laughs> if I go, yeah. I ain't coming back though. Uh, you you'll probably come back. No, I won't. It's cause like a lot of stuff. We're talking about Africa too. Like some one of my classmates, mm -hmm. she was from um, Sierra Leone's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she like I just have this image that they 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 tell us and like yeah. media is completely false. People don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, but she was saying like how in Africa they have like you can be from Sierra Leone's. And it's different tribes in Sierra Leone, mm -hmm. and they all have their own dialect. And I'm yep. like, what? And she was like, it's even internal beef with the tribe. So even mm -hmm. though you're from Sierra Leone and you're from this tribe, they still don't want you marrying from this tribe. And I was like, what? I thought everybody was like, she was like, no, it's serious. She was like, it starts conflict within like the, the tribes. It's different. It's yeah. so many tribes. I don't. Like, I don't... like politics and everything over yeah. there. Yeah, like, and I didn't like, even think nothing has, of it. But, but then this the this the crazy thing. Like you see how like they say like the the uh, American Af the Africans like us are so disenfranchised and disconnected from our like mm -hmm. natural history, our natural heritage. But mm. then when you talk That's to them, bullshit. when you talk when you talk to people that live there and they talk about like the things they go through and the people being tribal and communal yeah. and mm. holding and holding close to what's close to them, then when you come here and you wonder why, like almost by nature, everybody that live on this same block care more about this block. Um, than the entire city. That's 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 um, Asian culture, you know, and Caucasian culture. That's everywhere. Everybody is tribal, and I feel like most people they 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 try to criticize before they look internally. Like motherfucker, you tribal as well. You know what I mean? You might not call yourself a tribe, but you know what I mean. You guys are all still sticking together. You know what I mean? Asians are still sticking together. They don't. You know what I mean? That you can't call a Chinese person Japanese. They like, wait a minute, motherfucker. I'm not in, in that mood to say that right now. I said it already. <laughs> yeah. No, they, they bring in like but, um, good culture and but you know, for uh, hours to our show. Which nah, we're, no, we're, we're smart. We're, we're, very, 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 so new. we're very, very intelligent women. You know, I do music. As well as I have my own entertainment company, um, yeah. I promote and manage artists. She's well. an artist. Yeah, I do music too. Um, yeah. But sometimes I like to play the background because I hate sweating. Like even now, I'm hot as shit. <laughs> and then, like the one thing about being an artist, if y'all see Beyonce, like you go ahead and sweat. Like, yeah. and that's just not my number one thing. So mm -hmm. I do play the background. I'll do like one song if I'm hosting a show or whatever, then I'll sit down. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, I manage an artist. He's really amazing. His name's Sean King. Follow him, Sean King Empire. Mm -hmm. I work with DJs all over the country, mm -hmm. as well as, you know what I mean? Really try to bring out entrepreneurs and people. Yeah. And with my partners, like Black Aware, which, you know, they could help you guys with t-shirts if you want to um, sew in professional t-shirts. Mm -hmm. They do embroidery, yeah. vinyl. We're right up 4933 Old York Road. We're about just helping people brand whatever your tribe is, whatever, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Whatever your interest is, because if you're not able to promote yourself, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? How can anybody know what you're doing? Yeah. And I feel like Philadelphia has so many independent major people, like it's major independent movements going on. Mm -hmm. And we just gotta keep that shit going so we can get the shine that we want, period. Yeah. Oh. Agreed, agreed, yeah. agreed. So what do you sing? Rap? No, I don't sing. I don't rap. I do though. poetry though. Know? So okay. I do like um get into like spoken mic and stuff like that. Um, I'm currently in school working on my masters. Okay. So what that's you your masters in? Psychology. Psychology. So I'm definitely into like the history brat, yeah. like that history geek. <laughs> so when you say roots are important, um, she has an amazing business mind. Like she can help anybody. Yeah, like, and like get I, started. Yeah, so I do the co-host and I model. I do hosting, um, and I do a little bit of everything. Like depending on what the project is and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Last year we had like a fundraiser event, bringing that back again, okay. looking at a date. Um, just basically um, 
what I eventually want to do is I basically offer alternative care to a lot of things that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so many people ignore their mental health, you know what I mean? Yeah. They don't even yeah, pay attention to it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I didn't want to diagnose them too much. You got some issues. Uh -huh. I mean, everybody has some issues. Mm -hmm. Not everybody. Everybody. But you got issues. Most, issues but, but no, when, when somebody says you have issues, that means you're not you know, attending to them. Some people like, you know, they actually say, okay, I'm going to acknowledge the fact that I have issues and I'm not going to let them show. Yeah, but everybody has issues. You don't have to get the subscription. No, no. You don't have like, to get like, a subscription You're you a psych you. major. Everybody, everybody in the world can be diagnosed with some sort of a uh, Well, yeah, of course. Because yeah, of course. You think about, about a trauma you, that people... Are you subscribing mm -hmm. to the... Are you giving out subscriptions to your issues or are you... You know, do you have a control? Because the control, brain is yeah. very, very strong, and most people ignore that. That's like the strongest muscle besides your tongue. Like, it's on. okay to have, you know, we all have our own mental problems, but it's about addressing it. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. A lot of people live in communities that doesn't want to accept it, mm -hmm. or they want to hide like it don't yeah, exist. It's, it's, a like stigma. Taboo. it's a stigma. It's a stigma. It's a stigma to say, I'm going to go seek help. I'm going to talk to a counselor. It's, it's even like, even in my culture, like I was like, um, like I was asking my mom that question. I was like, where am I from? Like, mm -hmm. It's real shit. Like, yeah. I'm like, who the hell am I? Because yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and even they was just like, why does it matter? And I was like, because I can't identify. Yeah. So it was like, well, who were we before we became colonized? And um, they're like still like a survival more thing when we had kids and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I had to like do the research, like my own historical research about yeah. who I am and stuff like that. And I identified like, oh. This is who I am. Did you ever do that genetic testing? I, I was thinking about doing it, the 23andMe thing. I didn't do the genetic testing. I just looked at research it. history mm -hmm. and seeing how Puerto Rico was colonized and how we was mixed with like African American descent, mm -hmm. um, European descent, and then Taino is like our natural tribe. Yeah. Of who, it's like the mixture of like that's why you got so many varieties variation mm -hmm. of who we are. Mm -hmm. But Spanish is not our native tongue. Um, mm -hmm. The food is not us. The music is a little bit us. It's like the rhythm and stuff like that. I think so, they should do that. My friend found out he was from Ghana when he did that. Um, I don't really trust it. So, um, <laughs> no disrespect. I'm like, I just don't trust. I'm like, so I'm like, it's like, I don't, like this is what it is. Yeah, I think, I think that the, you want to know what's like the craziest way, like get a good history. Like, if you still got like grandparents that's mm -hmm. living, that could, like my, my grandmother, when she was alive, I used to well, I used to talk to her just about like where she was from mm -hmm. and things like that. Would she talk to you? Because I sometimes I feel like my family is more like opposed to it. Would she, would she talk to you about it? Yeah, my grandma. Yeah, my, you need you need to find it firsthand because even reading things, you're still getting something that somebody wrote down. Yeah. you know what I mean. You got something so, that was transcribed. Yeah, and you got something transcribed. The, the, and depending not depending really on what it is, the horse's mouth. Yeah, depending on what it is, you don't you don't know how reliable or how valid it is. Sometimes when you hear it from like you know and that i guess that also goes back to like the beginning of our culture to where like before it was tv and all that mm -hmm. youngins would sit down with the elders elders would tell you stories mm -hmm. about your family tell you stories about your your community or yeah, your tribe or however you want it you understand mm -hmm. what i'm saying and then that's how you would hold on to these stories and they would pass down and pass down and you know um that's how we got in a place where we are right now other forms of entertainment mm -hmm. has replaced that sit around with grandma and get that story you know what I'm saying? i try to do that with, i try to do that yeah. with my son all the time tell him about our family and stuff like that because you know you need to carry those stories on you never yeah. know where what it's going to mean to them you know what i mean yeah. because most people think that it's like um it's nothing new under the sun so you know what i mean you have to let your children know what happened before and mm -hmm. you know or even just you know um just like enjoying the fact that you come from, you yeah. know what I mean, where you come from and who you've come from. Mm -hmm. I expect a thousand mm -hmm. questions. So, mm -hmm. let me ask y'all something, Philly Shine Radio. Mm -hmm. Who's y'all? Who's y'all favorite artist in the city right now? In our city? Mm. I'm biased. Uh, I mean, Sean uh, King. Uh, King. Okay. Yeah, I know she's gonna say Sean <laughs> He's my favorite artist in the whole world. But I feel like mm. it's, it's, a, it's I'm, but then I'm also biased because I support all of them. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I yeah. support every last one of them. You know what I mean? All of them. Like, it's so many great young artists. It's so many amazing female artists. I'll be here for whole hours shouting mm -hmm. at the female yeah. artists I listen to. Yeah, because we interview all they like family. Vinci, so Miss like... Caddy, 
Mulu, like, Ch- you know what I mean? We could, Marie, we go yeah. on and on. I had Chantel Marie and R3 Banger on my show next week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Official Wing. He's so impressive. You know what I mean? It's a lot of people. Yeah. You know, who do you like? I love all of them. Like, I'm like, I'm trying to think like everybody. Cause I was like, everybody's so yeah, dope in their own way. And they like family choices or whenever yeah. they wanted to like do something like. Bruno Brown, you know, shout out to him Definitely family, well. Bruno yeah. Brown. You know, shout out to him. Propane. These are people, you have to tune in to Philly Shine Radio. You have to check us out. We actually replay the show on the weekends. We have um, a YouTube channel where you can see the old archive episodes. Mm-hmm. Either search Philly yeah. Shine Radio or Glock Aware, G-L-O-C-A-W-E-A-R. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You'll see it all. And so we also amazing. go live on Instagram. So yeah, some I always go live and stuff like that too. So how mm-hmm. is it for y'all like being females matriculating and through the city? And you know, some people could say like, uh, Radio, internet radio, radio, any type of radio where you putting other people's music out there, it seemed to be like male dominated, like, and y'all been operating for a minute, like, how do you, how is it for you guys? That's not a factor. Because, yeah. Because, um, you know, at the end of the day, and I feel like as a female, you have to be aware of the fact that you are female and do your research and, you know what I mean, not so much jump on everything because some people do try to take advantage, mm-hmm. yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, no, we, we have we have our tribe, we, we protect it and, you know what I mean, we we know that we have our own voice. Whereas though, um, you know, guys do get away with more shit because y'all men, whatever. We're more free, I think we're, we're free. We're free to say whatever we want to yeah, say. We, we like, still do it, but I, I understand yeah. what you're saying because like, you know, we have like a, you have like a Joe Buttons where he's just whatever he does. And you know what I mean? A person like me is not going to get as much attention because I'm female. And they're like, oh, I'm expecting you to be this tits out, ass out type woman. You know what I mean? And you're not going to get that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I could say like also like, I know people sometimes well, ask me. Well, we are tits and ass out yeah, every once sometimes. Season, but it's not. But it's not I know people always ask me like, are your DMs crazy and stuff like that with the artists and stuff like that? And I can always just say, like, I haven't had no super crazy DMs. And I don't know if it's because, like, my persona or who I am or whatever the case may be or who I'm connected DMs to. DMs crazy. But my DMs personally be, like, strictly about business. And once I shut it down, it's, like, shut it down. Like, I never had nothing super crazy. Mm-hmm. Thank God I suggest myself and stuff like that. But people just assume that it's super crazy. Yeah. But it's really not. Like, people be really, yeah. like, chill. They be respecting me. So. Mm-hmm. I got a question. Yeah. How do you feel about Aisha Curry hoping that people jump into her DM? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't believe that statement was meant like that. See how men perceive it? Oh. I perceived it completely different. So, so I perceived it, hold up. Let me, let me interject. Let me, hold up. Let me finish. Let me speak. Jada Pinky was trying to help her out. What do you Aisha think? Curry just expressed that Steph Curry, we know, is young, handsome, and rich. Every girl's dreaming, like, and he's like perfect, like the ideal family man. So <laughs> she knows that he gets attacked all the time and stuff. She's just saying as a female that she wants to still feel attractive. Not that he doesn't make her feel attractive or something like that. But every female, you still want to know that you got it. I don't care. That's human nature. Even if I'm with a guy, I still want I as a woman, I still want to feel like I got it. I don't care about everybody. I want my I want to know he got it. And when I walk in the room, people still looking at me. That's just how I feel. It's not about insecurity, it's just that's how no, I feel. No, I, but I feel like I feel like that that goes without being said, like that a woman will get attention. But I feel like the way she said it, Aisha Curry every year during the NBA Finals always has something to say, and mm-hmm. I feel like this was her something to say yeah. because it it was to me it was ridiculous. Jada Pinkett was trying to help her before she even got it out. You know what I mean? Jada Pinkett was trying to help her. It's like, wait a minute, what are you 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 really about to say this shit? Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you you really about to say this shit? No, You're about to say it. I don't think she did anything wrong. I think every girl has insecurity, I didn't, I don't, I don't and I think it speaks volume to like sometimes as females she's we do get guard, insecure. Man. She's fucking a guard. <laughs> That's what I thought. But like, you know what I mean? She's definitely getting D on the side. Well, she's well, like, for me, oh, just, you me attention. Oh, what else you want? Just as a man, just as a man, when I hear, when I, when, I hear, when I hear her say things like that. <laughs> I, I think about it two ways. The first thing I think about it is, and I know, you know, I, I'm the misogynist of this outfit yeah. over here. I'm sure you are. And, 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 hold on, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. And, and it's not that I don't hate women, I don't hate women, nothing like that, I love women, but I, I definitely think as a traditional man, you know what I'm saying, I, I believe in gender roles, I believe in all of that. Um, 
First thing I thought from Aisha was ungrateful. No, I, see, no, I don't let me finish. Let me finish. Uh, I'm not even finished, but I'm gonna do that. I, I, I felt it was very ungrateful. Like you are, you are married to arguably top three basketball players in the world right now. You met him in church, so you know he's a God fearing man. Mm -hmm. He brings you everywhere he goes. Mm -hmm. He always makes sure there's a spotlight on you and the kids. I mean, his his daughter. At three years old, if she started an Instagram, she'd probably have over 10 million followers just off the little bit of personality we saw from mm -hmm. her. Everything right. about that man is about family, family yeah. and God and his professional. God, family, and his profession. You know what I'm saying? And when it come to men, they putting God first, putting their family right next, right, right, under, right there underneath God mm -hmm. and then working on their self and their profession right there. I won't say he's perfect because nobody's perfect, but... And the situation she's dealing with, she get she has the man she has that attention. every woman say they want. Did she ever say she was ungrateful? But no, no, she the, was the, very the, 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 the come said, across. I feel like just like how you said, where is so much misogyny in the world where men think that women are objects. They want to just fuck bitches and keep it moving. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why would you say, oh, look at me when we already have those stigmas? You know what I mean? And I don't she, think she say, that. look at me. And like, it's pretty yeah, girls said, that I want to get some. I look at it like, what about the girl that's married that shows their body that's half naked and stuff? It's a lot of females that's married and that go outside half naked and stuff like that. Does that mean they want all this attention? Beyonce, Beyonce is married. Kim Kardashian is married. And they sell sex all the time. Well, no, Kim Kardashian sells. sells sex. Sex sells. Beyonce sells good music and just happens to look good doing it. Mm. It's Beyonce a big, it's a big sex. difference but between. But she definitely it's a big, up she her sexy sex too. when she got love, married. We love Beyonce, but Beyonce selling sex too. It's it's the it's a she her sexy we went sell, up. Well, well, we, well, well, let's we say this: was Beyonce well was Beyonce too. rich? Before she decided decided to be half naked. First of all, she was half naked. Or 16, 15. No, nah, yes, she, no was, she wasn't. Yo, she was no, still she showing wasn't. her body. She but was even, still showing but, her but figure. One, one thing for certain: when you're a female in the entertainment business, exactly. unless you are totally, you know, turtleneck, you know, long sleeve shirt, mm -hmm. no matter what, you are selling sex in a sense. Like even for you know you and yeah. I, mm -hmm. we're not so much protruding and say oh we're sexy or whatever. Mm -hmm. But if we want to have our titties out and have on a one piece or shorts or whatever, we're gonna do that. And we know that we're gonna also get. It's just the world we live in. I think that's what it is. For me, I, I, I actually posed up against that because I feel like artists like Alicia Keys don't sell sex. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. She wears turtlenecks and shit. Yeah, she's and, and she's. But she does. She does at times get a little sexy, but this is just more like pipe. Yeah. But, but, but it's more about her music, and she might every now and yeah, then. Yeah, she's showing her something. belly button. And she, uh, yeah, uh, she made. You know but, yeah. but yeah, but, yeah, but, but no, yeah. Alicia but, Keys has but, hand on a bra and, but, and her belly button. But, yeah, yeah, she done had all that but, stuff but, but out. But the point yeah. I wanted to make what? about Macy Gray doesn't sell sex. Nah, she doesn't. But she hasn't sold a record in ten years. Oh, that's not good. They could sell. They could sell. The point I the point I wanted to make about Aisha Curry though is that um, she did say she wanted attention. Yeah. And the point is, is this. The reason why people In don't... In comparison the, to her husband. The, the reason why people don't holler at Aisha Curry, to be quite honest, is the respect for yeah. Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody's like, that boy don't bother nobody. That man just take care of his family and do yeah. everything a man's supposed to do. The gardener why did he not leave, the leave his wife yeah. alone. The gardener in that thing. You, you understand like, what I'm saying? Like, the gardener is up in I think she just suffers like, from a little insecurity and I think being with a basketball player, as a woman, you're going to have some insecurities. I never see Aisha Curry, like, posting naked. I never see her halfway or nothing like that. She carries herself very well. That's just not saying she don't. She does. You know what I mean? She's a family woman. She may have, like, said something. She, she likes to She is. She is, is that, is, or is that the image that Steph, maybe behind closed doors, is saying? Well, we don't know what happened yeah. behind closed doors. Who to say Steph it. shows her that much attention? We but just know what it. we think see. We don't it. know what happened. I think happens. for, like, the past four years, mm -hmm. during the NBA Finals, Aisha Curry is always being, like, way out, out yeah. of the box. She, she crossed yeah. boundaries. Even when she was trying to say it was rigged because they lost that year, and then she did something else last year and the other year, it's like she really craves attention. I think she just needs to just be like, "Look, we getting divorced. Yeah. 
I'm well, fucking with them. Well, I Kardashian. think he's like, and, and, and about, I really he's Kardashian. Steph Curry. Yeah, I'm like, I'm that. sure that's got to be. I'm about the Amber Rose that she joined. And, she I, and, and I really ahead. think, that, ahead, I think that the tables, I think the tables got turned on her too, because when Steph was at Davidson, who knows who Aisha Curry was on that campus when he started dealing with her. It probably was Seesaw, like she was the toughest thing on campus and he was just the basketball player for a mediocre D1 program. And then when he started hitting them threes oh, and started getting that recognition, like, oh, the, 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 it, it, it kind of evened out. Oh, I know what you and, mean, because them light mm -hmm. skin, I, I and, have, my sister's uh, all and, light skin. Uh, <laughs> we, love, we love the light skin <laughs> queen. Oh, the color we love though, we love oh the God, queen. the separation. You gotta give, I forgot about that part. You gotta give your light skin queens, they do, because they want it. And then, yeah. and then, yeah. and and so, then look, so then look I'm at the shift, look at the shift. Steph Curry comes to the league. He's oh, the, I understand. I he's the number six in. pick All in the right. league. All right, but then still a little bit, she's still probably outranking them because when people mm. look at his wife, they're like, damn, your wife bad as shit. How you get her? Mm. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Then he start winning some playoff games. Uh, now we, now, I, now we, you're not now, fucking a guard. Now we evened out. Now he's the NBA champion and he's in the conversations with Jordan and LeBron and all of them. Mm. Eh, can you have any woman in the world now and you start to feel like you're not here no more. She's starting to feel like this. But I this. say insecurity. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. And I'm and, saying it. And ungrateful. Female. And don't forget ungrateful. I'm not going to say she's ungrateful. I just think she's insecure. And that, that's normal, I think, to have some type of insecurity. Next year. Because what did we talk about Aisha Carey? What else did she do? What did she accomplish? She's a great mother. She yeah, has three great. beautiful children. Yeah, like a cooking show. She, she, and, 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 yeah, and, and, and at some point in time, all you really need to do is make sure that $200 million man has nothing to worry about but shooting a jump shot so that your kids, grandkids, so that your kids, grandkids can benefit from his labors. Like, like look, at the, look at the model he's following. Dale Curry was never much better than a six man of the year. This is his dad. Never, never really won too many playoff games, never won a championship. But Del Curry made sure that the monies he made set things up for Steph and, and Seth yeah. Curry and their younger sister who played volleyball. And now you look up, you got three professional kids who have put themselves in position to double any monies you made proper for them. Mm -hmm. Steph Curry could take care of the Currys for the rest of their life. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. And so at what point do we protect the bag? Do we secure the, that he should not ever have to think about while he's at practice, who but did do, my wife I sucking? Do, I do, Cause I, I don't do, have, I'm I don't not giving her that. attention. I don't think, I, do I think, I think but people no, But at the end of the day, you know, and to lead a subject along, I think we should move on. Steph Curry supported his wife. You know what I mean? He shouted her out and that's said, that's you know what I mean? He nah, said, that's nah, that's I think he you. understood her insecurity. Yeah, you know, I think he, he was a real you. nigga <laughs> and didn't want to clash against his wife publicly. No, and, and that's what I'm saying. And I feel like since he had her back, that's his wife, that's their yeah. shit. Yeah. He said, he he said you're you great. Never say some shit like that to fucking Of course he did. Of course he did. Of course he did. I take all this shit. And then he went and then he went right to social media. I support my wife. Thank you for exposing everything, everything and I've got your back 100%. But behind closed doors, Aisha, don't you ever fucking embarrass me like that. <laughs> nah, nah, that, that turned down yeah, for shit. But that's just what real niggas do. Like, I would never... You remember never, that meme with the girl yeah, looking at... and that was real shit. She was really... Girl, the that, that meme, that girl was looking at stuff like Steph. And Steph didn't pay no And Steph was like... Skittish. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, we gotta so, so we gotta move on? Please. All right, let's All right. move on. We'd like to uh, thank y'all for tuning in to this episode of So Unprofessional. We're going to continue this conversation. All our subscribers, everybody, you know where to follow us at on social media and everything. Definitely drop in if you got some opinions hold about this. Uh, hold up, make sure you drop some. Yeah. Follow, follow my Instagram at Miss Rosario the Goddess. Uh -huh. I hope it's written underneath. Also, Blue Shine Radio. No, nah, it definitely is. Yeah. But, but, but definitely <laughs> give them your social media. Okay, let's just shout it out. I'm Inspire, H-O-N-E-S-T-H-I-R-E. You know what I mean? And, and is there a social media where they can follow um, Philly Shine Radio, Philly Shine Radio, and Glock Aware. Philly Shine Radio, G L O C A W E A R, Philly mm -hmm. Shine Radio. Mm -hmm. um, East Coast Connect is a website, but definitely check me out. You'll see everything. Yeah, definitely the second best radio show in the city. 
Where's number one in right the world? Right after State Talk. Okay, cool. <laughs> right. Cool. But not, nah, but, 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 so what I'm saying, what I'm saying. Hold on, are we, are we yeah. ended? We already? We done. Yeah, peace. Yes. We finished or yeah. we done? We done. <laughs> we finished right, so, or we so, done? <laughs> he done, he done.